Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. We finna see if we can catch a fish. Y'all, I have got a new reel on a pole. Ooh, this is an old pole that I had, but I made a knife for my buddy up in Missouri. I think, of, yeah, in Missouri. He used to live here for a long time. I've known him all my life, uh, Mr. Limwood Vowell. And he traded me for a knife a couple of these old vintage ambassador reels. Now, y'all know, I, if, if you know me, you know I like antique stuff. I mean, inside my house is all antique stuff. So I, I'm excited to catch me a bowfin on this reel. And uh, so I've got some baits that Mr. Dan Davis had sent me, with some stuff that, that uh, he said he couldn't fish no more, wanted me to use these baits. And, uh, y'all, these crawfish is, is, should be like a really good bait down here. So what we're going to do, it's early morning. We got down here for the sun come up. And we hoping that we can, before the mosquitoes get bad and eat us up, because if you ain't careful, it'll take more mosquito dope than probably what's really safe on your skin to stay down here. The next thing is, is it get god awful hot here in a little while so i want to try this new rod reel out so we're gonna go over here and y'all i think i done seen a gruntle laying over here in the edge of this let's go see if we can catch yeah, it this is a there's a bend coming out right here and this is a, a i mean a like a slough that cuts off out through there and this river actually comes in and bends it's just a good hole right here so i'm gonna see and I ain't got this thing set up. I may bird nest it right off the bat. I don't know. All right, now this ain't the hole that I'm planning on fishing today that I came to fish. I just thought about it and it was real easy to stop at and i said i'm gonna try it yeah them mosquitoes starting to find me y'all here comes a buzzard feather floating down the river oh y'all he had it i was worried about that doggone feather he tore my bait up look at that Y'all, I swear, I'm looking at this buzzard feather floating down through here and missed him. Boy, boy, this thing has done floated right up here beside us. We may, we may be able to get it. That may be Howard's feather. We're going to try not to do that again. <coughs> I ain't got my drag right. Y'all, we got one. I think we got a bass, but I ain't sure. He's pulling now. He's fighting. Oh, yeah, we got a bass. <coughs> and he ain't real big. We got to get him up his old bank right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh. Well, y'all. We got the day kicked off. Uh, this ain't what I come down here after. <coughs> I done got flies. Mosquito done flew down my throat or something. Y'all, them mosquitoes is already getting bad. Look at there, y'all. Oh, slimy back bass right there. Let's put him back in the water. <coughs> well... Probably ain't going to be able to grunt fish right here because they're more nasty bass. <coughs> We're going to have to get a different bait. Mr. Dan, he he tore that in all the pieces. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to have to go get a nudding. That ain't, no, that ain't nothing for us. For we got plenty bait. Y'all, it's just one of the facts of life down here. You're going to use up some mosquito dope. Oh, and my can getting low him. I try not to just spray it on my face. I don't want to get it in my eyes. 
And I'll tell you something about it. You see how these lenses, how the, the oranges come off of them? That is from mosquito spray. Yeah, I did that last year. <coughs> All right, now I tangled this up when I was hanging up because I was swatting them devils. Well, that is the first fish we have caught on this old reel. Right, they twisted up on me. God. <coughs> I put everything Mr. Dan sent me in this tray right here. And it's a whole bunch of different stuff. So we're going to find, we're going to find us another something. Look at here. I bet, boy, I bet they'll like that. Right there. That is a good looking brush hog. I mean to tell you. That's what we're going to, we're going to put that in on there. I like them with that orange color. These fish down here, y'all, bass, everything, they eat a lot of crawfish. There is a lot of crawfish in this swamp. Uh, well, we got something else. We're gonna wear the little fish out, y'all. Good Lord, they hungry. To I mean, right off the bat. I don't know what time it is. It's got to be eight o'clock. So that's a little old bitty thing, y'all. He barely was gonna make good beat. Another bass. Y'all, they stacked up right over there. This is a little bit better one. Come on. <laughs> Pretty good little old bass. Now, he ain't no giant, but he's fighting now. Is a, mm, I'm gonna have a time getting the ground up at, at, at Oh, y'all, that is a pretty good bass. Look at he got that old rust color coming up on his back, y'all. He pretty, ain't he? Yeah, look. Caught him on that brush hog zoom baits. Look at that, that bass, y'all. We, boy, 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 we can't even fish for the bass. Hey, some diehard bass fisherman watching this just cringing. I know, I'm crazy. But if y'all would give them both in a chance and fillet one and fry him up, And make you some cold slaw. And some of them French fried potatoes. Mm -hmm. That'd be why I get so excited when I hang one. And I go to hooping and hollering because I know I'm finna eat good. Y'all like to hear it real scream. Mm -hmm. We got... Another bass, I would say. Doggone, they are stacked up right over there. Y'all, we're gonna, we're gonna give this old vintage reel right here a doggone workout with the bass. If you like to bass fish, this might be the lucky reel for you. Look at him. Let's put him back. We're probably catching the same fish over and over, right? <laughs> Let me get my bait fixed in, and we'll catch us another one. Ow! Look at that. 
Mr. Dan, these baits is paying off for the bass. They ain't, they, the Grunnell don't seem to like them. <laughs> we think she'd go, go somewhere else because I ain't going to fight these bass. Oh, it's a mite fun, but while it's still early, I don't want to spend a day right here catching them now. I'm going to just be honest with you. Y'all, I broke my line off. Now, I told you I had two. He traded me for two of these, so. And I got a crankbait rigged up on that one. I, I'm not a big fan of fishing them down here, but I broke my line off, so now we have got to re-rig back up here. You know? I have got to find a good This is what we finna put on here. This is the crawdad. I have discovered that it is a heck of a bait. It is a, it is a little bit fatter than I like, but It's still a good bait. Anything that is really crawfishy in this swamp is a good bait. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go, boys. Here we go. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Come on, you daddy. Come on. He's always oh, wrapped it around a log, y'all. I'm going to have to give him some slack and let him untangle himself. Come on now. Mmm. He has wrapped around a limb under the water, y'all. Look at him jumping out there. Did y'all see that? I have a grunnel on the line, and I can't get him unwrapped, y'all. He's going to have to come up this way. Oh, we may have him loose, y'all. We may have him loose. We got him loose. We got him loose, y'all. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, daddy. Come on. Oh, yeah. He's coming. Look at Oh, hey, it's a bass, y'all. This is a big old bass. I done got excited. I thought I had me a grunnel showing up. I mean, we got a... It's a dang good bass. He's coming right up here under the camera to us. Come on. Come on, boy. Now, doggone. Oh, good Lord, y'all. Hey. Dad, gum, y'all. What a bass down here in this swamp. I done got all wound up and excited. I just knew I had a grunt out there. Y'all, we done caught one of them big old bossy back bass down here in the swamp. Hey. Some of y'all didn't know these grew down here like this. Well, I done got my hook hung around the cat. Look at that. What y'all want to do with him? Y'all want to put him back? <laughs> I don't know what he weighs. He probably don't weigh four pounds or so. 
Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's let him go. Come on. There you go. Oh, get my bait. Get my bait right here, fish. Well, well, that's the first time that a bass has really got my adrenaline up like that. A doggone. I'm a mite disappointed, but now it was, I, I must admit it was still fun. Now, what did he do to my, oh, Lord. I may have to cut this out. No, I don't, I don't. Get my bait all fixed then. Ah, just so you, somebody will want to know, what did you catch me? I don't know what I filmed and what I've deleted. That is a culprit bait. Let's see if we can catch us a grunt now. I'm tired of catching them. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on. Run with it. Mm. Like I said, you don't really want to set that inside a log. Oh, good God, what in the world? Oh, y'all, come on. Well, sir. I had me a blind eel. <laughs> That'd be a stick. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, y'all. We got something. I don't know what. Oh, I think we lost him. I think we lost oh, Yep, he come on. That gun it. See how he watered my bait all up, doggone. All right, we fixed. I'm finna have to uh, get shed of these boots. Y'all, I done went and got my feet where I can get around out here. Now, you can find them little baby cypress knees real good like this. <laughs> but I ain't got to worry about getting my boots wet. Now nah, I can fish. y'all. We got a good one now. And we got him hooked, I think. Come on now. What we got here? Come on. Come on, boys. Come on. What we got? He ain't come up out of the water yet. He's coming to me. What have we? Oh, yeah, baby. Woo! Yeah. Come on right now. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on to daddy. Let's see if we can get old Steve grip on him. Come on, man. Y'all, you will fool around losing out here. Mm. Oh. I'm going to mess around and lose it. We got to get him up on the bank. Hook's coming out. Come on, y'all. He ain't real big. But, hey, them things are... I'm going to swim him up here into the... Onto the bank in this mud. That hook will come out. He'll be gone, gone, gone. He ain't real big, but hey, he's good eating. Ah. Oh, it's all right, y'all.
back here. Come back. Look at here, y'all. Catching both in. Look at here. Both in on vintage equipment, boys. <laughs> I love it. 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 Let's get the hook out of it. Oh. Okay, for those of you that may be new to this, here you go. Cooler, milk jug, fish goes in the cooler. We go get fresh water, dip it, pour it in this cooler, and we're going to keep him alive till we get home so we can cook him. That is about six jugs of water or so. Give them plenty of water. It's hot. They can live in a mud hole, but you don't want him dead when you get home. Uh, he's probably enough for me to eat. I'm going to take two home if I can catch another one. And then after that, we're going to catch and release. Now, being he destroyed my bait, I'm getting down. To, I don't have a lot of my good bait. I'm going to try one of these out. And I have one already rigged up on another pole, but we'll save it for later. But you notice most of this is one of my favorite colors, green on the back. It's Bama colored. Um, and this is Bama crawl. I really like the, uh, the Bama colored on the uh, tournament series stuff. The... Uh, it wasn't a crawl, it was a bama punch hole. But this is just as good. Mm. All right, y'all. Mm. Oh, dead gummy. And I had let it run and run and run. Oh, me, y'all. Oh, no, didn't get that old hook set. Didn't get that old hook set. He's still out there, though. Hey, y'all, it's time for a little break. I broke a line off my pole again. But it should be fixing to pick up. I think I know why they ain't been biting. I have had a few bites. I've just missed them. I'm thinking about taking this other pole. Oh, I like this reel. Love this reel. I'm getting used to it. It's been a long time since I fished one, but y'all, this reel flimsy. And uh, this pole right here, I have been fishing with a long time, and my other reel messed up, and I swapped reels. This Abu Garcia reel sits real high, and I don't really like it. But y'all, this pole got broke some years ago and it's pretty stiff. What that does is I can really set a hook with it. So I may wind up doing some trading out and putting that reel over there. That way leave this and set up with this limber pole like I got it. Put that reel on this pole. I don't know. But right now I have got to re-bait this one out. Y'all, I don't know what we're going to do with old Roscoe. I got up early this morning because I wanted to come fish before it got hot. Oh. The moon is going to set about 9.30, and that is about what time it is. And I think there was a little bit of a lull in that bite right before that. I think it'll pick up now. But when I left, Roscoe, he, I fussed at him a little bit because when I woke up, he was in a laundry basket full of clean clothes, decided to sleep in there, and I, I scolded him a little bit, and I didn't, do, I didn't get on to him too bad. I just said, what are you doing in here? Boy, old head drooped down. He tiptoed in there. I said, you go get in the bed. He crawled up on the bed, and, but when I left, he saw me put my shoes on and getting my coffee thermos. He laid right there and watched me walk out the door. I'm willing to bet, though, when he heard that buggy crank up, that he about tore the paint off the door, but 
I went on and left him. It gets squirrel season, and he don't want to get up for daylight to go squirrel hunting. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll leave him. I don't want to. We we may have to set him down and have a come to Jesus meeting with old Roscoe. I'm I'm getting a mite concerned that sleeping late that ain't gonna work with me. Uh oh, that was definitely a hit, y'all. Here we go, here we go now. Let him run. Let him run. Oh, I didn't get a good hook set. Oh, oh. oh he's coming all over him. Woohoo, yeah, baby. Come on around here and let him see you jump, son. Come on, come on. Woohoo, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Woo. <laughs> Let's get him up here to the bank, y'all. Woo! Get him! <laughs> Booyah! He hooked good. That thing ain't coming off. I say that. <laughs> he might. All right. Let's see if we can get him worked up here to the bank. Ooh! Ah! <sighs> I told y'all that bite was finna pick up, didn't I? All right, y'all. See how I'm doing this. I have got to invest in me some of them little fish clamp things that you can reach down there and grab them in the lip pretty quick with them and keep them in my pocket. Oh, ah. y'all see I am knee deep in the mud. I'll probably wind up breaking my pole off a little shorter. But don't you worry, I'll keep using it. <laughs> All right. Let me get him up here to buggy. All right. See if we can get my... I, got, I do have my multi-tool with me. See if we can get this old hook out of his head. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And get that, get that over him. Out of the way. Yeah, I like is I keep that Gerber suspension. I'm, I want to try me a Leatherman. I have actually never owned a Leatherman, so I'm not against Leatherman. I just never have one, and this has wound up being a really good one. Both in, y'all. I had to wash him off where you could see. Look, there ain't no spot on these tails. You see how blood red these tails are on these things? Give them sugar, son. All right, y'all. We hooked up again now. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a good one. Come on. Look at him. Come on. Come on, the daddy. <laughs> oh, y'all. Y'all. Y'all ain't going to believe what we got. This is a big old chain pickerel. We call him a jack down here. Look how big this jack is, y'all. 
I knew he hit that bait while ago. Y'all, y'all, he going in the cooler. Look how big his jack is. He going to fool around and get all bait. Or bite my leg down here. Come here now. <laughs> That's exciting right there. Oh, Lord. I thought I had a griddle. So hard. Ow. Y'all, I was going to go put him in the cooler. Oh, he had got some teeth. But I think I'm going to let him go. I think I am. Big chain pickerel, y'all. We call him a jack. I'm fixing to turn him loose. They got a lot of bones in them. They are very good to eat. My grandpa loved them. That is, all right, he's gone. No, he ain't. Yeah, he is now. All right, let me find my, my fishing pole. Here, yeah. Because it's got a hook right there. I just decided I have more than I have to eat. And being I don't catch a lot of them, I decided to leave them in here. Might as well go home. Well, y'all, we not are catching nothing here for the last little bit. And I have enough to cook. Let me get my, that ain't the box. Let me go in. Get my baits put back in there. Where they go. Mm. Then I had my pocket full of, I'm, I'm about used up a whole big old pack of, $20 pack of hoops. Y'all, that is a bad thing about fishing down here in this swamp. There's a lot of logs and limbs and sticks and you're going to get hung up a lot. And it can get very frustrating. Uh, but I want to get out of here today before my other, before these die in here. Yeah, he's still alive. They're still alive. They ain't as spunky as they once were. But we gonna go home and cook. And y'all, this right here is a, the most disastrous thing a fella can do. Um, and I'm fixing to remedy it. Don't, don't, I, that, that bait happened to be laying there when I was putting this together. You can't travel with a devil's horse on your pole. So let's find something else in here to to put on here and do do away with that. Anything that's just got a hook, you know, one, I don't know, there's a jig of some description. We probably should have tried fishing with that. It's just got one hook, though. And it's got a, them gold spinners. I hadn't tried fishing with any of this kind of stuff. Uh, I, I tend to keep fishing with what I know. So, tie that on there right quick. And I'm sure I need to get home and I have some other stuff to do. I would love to just spend all day down here. But I can't do that. And the mosquitoes is going to eat us up. We have done pretty well. Uh, and I don't know if I showed. I was using this Repel. It is 40% DEET. That is what I look for. If you've got something that's like a 10% DEET, it's not going to work as good as the higher DEET. 
that is what you look for with your but brand name this is repel i use a lot of off uh in fact i think i think uh, i don't know for sure nope i took it out no there's some in there this is i don't even know what brand this is this is some more that stays in my tackle bag But I have several people occasionally ask me, I don't know how you stayed down there. They like to eat us up when we was down there. That's the only way that and a, a thermosail is wonderful. But you got to bear in mind, if you're moving all around, you either got to hang that thermosail around your neck and breathe in fumes right up your snout, or either you've got to stay put and, or, you know, I mean, it's it's got its downsides. But now the thermosail works great. I have two of them. And I love them both. So we're going to fill this coffee up, y'all. And then we're going to snake our way back out of here. Depending on the footage, we may we may film filleting and cooking this. I may make a whole nother video of filleting and cooking it. I, we'll see. Anyway, let's go to the house, y'all. We done been down here long enough. Come on.